Hello. Just finished my lunch. It was really nice today. Um, there was a pudding. There was a pudding and bread with um, sugar on it and then some salad with seaweed and some soup with noodles and meatballs it was it was great um i wanted to share something that i don't want to forget i wrote it down so i don't forget but um it was uh from somebody's it's from erica lane i i hope i said right this uh the life of purpose movement and it's um is it like a blog i think but um <clears throat> the article that i read was called um six reasons to love yourself i don't think i'm a narcissistic person but then you know alcoholic people don't say they're alcoholic so i don't want to point fingers at people and say you know i'm this i'm that and you're not this and you're you know but that article is a night opener because uh, often people think oh he's narcissistic or she's narcissistic because they just think about themselves and their ego and their and their everything and i think that is different from what i am about to share um so i want to make that sure and clear it's not about loving yourself in a way you indulge yourself into um things that only you like it it's not like that self-love is completely different it's more like here and here okay well i'm gonna read them real quick number one self-loathing and self-criticism are not effective ways to motivate yourself they always backfire eventually that's what moms do I have to tell you, that's what I do. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. I failed at this conversation. I, I used the, the wrong words and probably hurt my kid. Um, I wish I could do more. I wish I had more time to spend with them. I wish I did that when they were younger. You know, like, it's a, it's an ongoing thing. And, and if you're harsh on yourself and if you think you're not enough, your kids will, will think the same thing. Um, anyways, so number two. Loving loving and accepting yourself is the most effective way to create long-term change in your life again loving and accepting yourself the way you are with all your good and not so great things that are struggling with everything accepted accepted so you can work on it in your lifetime furthermore self-love helps us see our own potential allows us to forgive ourselves when we take a step backward and eliminates the shame spiral that so often lands us right back on square one well said i, I cannot say it any better than that this is um this shame spiral um it's a real thing especially if, i don't know for fathers and company leadership managers and whatnot like but for moms i know i know that we very often fall into that trap number three loving yourself allows you to love others deeper when you're preoccupied with yourself you can focus you can focus on others when you are preoccupied with yourself you cannot focus on others more when I'm treating myself with love, I'm a million times more able to love my friends and family. Interesting. I see that in um, I see that in sixth graders. They are, I mean, they're kids. Their um, their feelings are spiral, aspiring right now. They are like blooming with hormones, and they're like thinking about how their hair looks like, how perfect they have to sit down. How I mean, their interests, their connection and relationship with each other they're now growing into mostly almost adults and um going to the teenage they're 12 year olds now and they're they start talking back to their parents i know because from you know from home but they're um curious about the world and they have a lot of things that they think they're not good enough at and um when they don't think they're good enough they're that they're not pretty enough for girls and the boys are not cool enough 
then they're preoccupied with like how my hair looks like oh boy i have to make it like straight i have to make it perfect then you don't have time to see those around you and actually enjoy time and in relationship with them anyways number four loving yourself frees you from worrying about what others think of you it takes practice to tune out the loud opinions around you and tune into the quiet beating of your heart your own heart but those moments when you do they are everything that's very self-explanatory and um that's especially for teenagers oh my gosh they always the loud voices tell them you're not good enough with this you're too <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay i'm sorry you're too this too that when you actually have to listen to what the inward that you, you turn inward for that so in, when you find find inner peace then you can outward and bloom and share your light with the others number five loving yourself allows you to make peace with the past oh boy there are crazy kids here in this place when you love yourself like you would love a friend you start to see that that version of you your past self was working with all the information energy skill and understanding she had or he had in that moment she was going she was doing her best and that's all anyone can ask for can ask and uh, there was a real little quote that i really liked don't look back you're not going that way mind blowing i think that that one is for people like um me and probably a lot of other uh, other moms out there but um past i'm pretty sure if you if you if you just wrap your head around it in that past version of you like a few years ago when you were doing this and that and that with the experience now you have you, you went through all those things now that you see it back you think oh i could have done better i should have you know no that was you before this experience now and so that was all she the the me in the past tried her best to do the best out of it and to um make things work and if they didn't it's 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 because she didn't have the knowledge the energy the skills the understanding that she has now that i have now so if you if you try to understand that you will see yourself in a very different way it's like wow i mean why 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 i'm so harsh on myself about the past if i know that if i know that i had the certain knowledge understanding information and skill back then which is less than i have now of course because experience is built by you know time with time you become better at something so don't look back don't look back and blame yourself and point fingers at yourself and, and beat yourself up for the past mistakes you've done you are trying your best and you know your past is not going it's not the way you're going right now it's the future and so number six is loving yourself gives others permission to love themselves especially your kids now that's a good one our kids see how we talk to ourselves how we take our take care of ourselves and how we respond to both their mistakes and our our own mistakes that's really really critical through the life we have, the way we live in, let's give our kids and everyone who knows us full permission to love themselves just the way they are. So this is again, the Life on Purpose movement by Erica Lane. It was written September 15, 2020. I like it. I like it and I, I shared it with my sister and I, I think more people should know about this is really really great and it helps to think about the better version of you have a good day it's really loud here now